because I could not stop for death. He kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. First, I'm going to apply a white foundation onto my entire face per usual. This is the Creolon TV Paint Stick in 070, which is great for making your entire face pure white. To even this all out, I'm taking a sponge by Pure Cosmetics, just very softly, bouncing that across the skin. Then I'm going to set this all in place using a white same powder. And this is the super white same powder from Ben Nye. Now for eyeshadow. I'm using this light brown shadow from the Lorac Pro 2 palette, which is sort of like a medium warm brown. Here I'm taking a blending brush and very softly taking that shadow and blending it very softly onto the outer corners of my upper eyelids. Make sure to blend here very very well as you do want a smooth seamless blend. Then take a dark brown eyeshadow and blend that all over the mobile lid up to around where you applied the light brown shadow earlier. You can also use a smaller brush to work in the color into any small areas around your eyes. Now below the eyelid, you want to draw a very soft line curving around the outer portion of your bottom eyelid. So just working that in and then you want to use a black gel liner. This one is from NYX and you want to line your upper eyelids as so. Then use a black matte shadow to set this in place. Here I'm using Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is super good by the way. Now I'm going to add a touch of brown to my eyebrows to make them stand out a little bit more. So just very softly working that into my eyebrows. And then you want to reach for a mascara. Very generously coat your top and bomb lashes. Then you want to apply false lashes. Here I'm using lashes from Ilore, which are customized with paper lashes. Now I'm going to draw calligraphy onto my face. I'm referencing this artwork right here from Menke. My advice right here is to first draw the rough outline. So just trying to very carefully copy the painting, uh, the drawing that is, onto my face. Then carefully going back in once the outline is placed onto my face to thicken each line. Here I'm using a gel liner mixed with Duraline to make it more like a very flowy ink. Also, I drew this backwards because I was using a mirror at this time. So if you do want to draw this the right way, because <laughs> I did not, 
you do want to flip the image backwards and then copy that design. Now you want to use a black shadow and very roughly paint that over the calligraphy and also very softly adding a little bit of blending action, don't know how else to describe it, to the outside portions of this calligraphy. This will give it a softer appearance. Now I'm going to use that white foundation once again and cover my top and bottom lip with it. Then taking a black shadow, I'm buffing this in the corners of my mouth, very slowly building up the color. Then buffing that over my top lip as well. And also adding this to the bottom lip as well to add more contrast. Overall this will give the illusion that I'm smiling. In a sort of creepy way, which I don't mind. <laughs> I do not mind at all. Now I'm using a cool taupe grey color, which is also from the Lorac 2 palette, and I believe it's called Cool Grey. And I'm going to shade the bottom part of my nose with it. And this concludes the end of this look, inspired by Minky and... Um, Halloween, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Without further ado, I will see you all later, and I hope all of you are doing well. Bye.